I have a welder in the house. And now, as I always do, I'm going to start experimenting and I'm going to show you how I'm going to make nutrient-rich compost in suburbia without turning, without the compost smelling and it's very easy. If I can do it, you can do it. Trust me. And a lot of the videos that I watched on composting, they suggest that you shouldn't use old padding soil but I did it in my containers and um, you can see that video. I'm going to put a link to it up above. I used basically old padding soil over there and uh, this is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to use old padding soil and I'm just going to spread it to the bottom of the barrel. Now what I'm going to put next? It got hot. It's December 20th and it's 75 degrees. I love it. Anyway, the next thing, the next thing I'm going to add to the compost is uh, brown paper waste. And uh, some of it I'm going to have to cut in smaller pieces so it's easier to decompose. So the softer paper, I'm just going to tear with my hands. And then, because I don't think there is any rain in the forecast for the next, like, two months, I'm going to have to water it down a little bit. Next, I'm going to add some food scraps and these are old avocado peels, some eggshells. And you can just cut the avocado peels when they're still fresh, I'll show you here in a little bit. But these are pretty old, so I'm going to have to just crack them. And then I'm going to add some of my food scraps. Let's go the soy. Alright, this one is going to go. Tear this apart a little bit, the avocado peels. Cucumbers, peppers, tomatoes, some more soy. And then I'm going to add some coffee grounds. Drink a lot of coffee. And then some ground up eggshells and banana peels. Up above I'm going to put a link to this video. And then some dry leaves that I picked from underneath my orange and grapefruit tree. And instead of uh, having the landscapers come and just blow them away and take them away God knows where, I just pick them myself and put them here. And, one, uh, uh, and while picking the leaves from underneath my trees, I discovered something very awesome. Check this out, guys. Look at this guy. He's almost ready to go. And then another one over here. Oops, another one. Next, I'm going to add some rock dust. And you don't have to. It's just that I have a 50-pound bag of it that it's going to take me a lifetime to use. So I'm just going to add it over here. And here in our neighborhood, citrus trees are not allowed. So if we have them, we have to keep them below the fence line so you can't see them from the street. So this is where I'm going to get my green material or some more green material, which is ridiculous. But anyway, it is what it is. So you can use any old tree that you have in your backyard. I suppose this is all I have here and I'm just gonna pull the leaves out and then chop the uh, branches in smaller pieces and then I'm gonna add some more old padding soil over the green stuff so it starts decomposing faster it's all organic of course it's old but it's organic it doesn't have any like, chemicals and stuff like this in it and then I'm going to add some more of my uh, coffee grounds then over here. That's all I have. This is coffee grounds. This is like a month worth of coffee grounds. And then lastly, I'm going to add some more cardboard stuff from my eggies. That has too much ink, so I'm not going to use that. You can use your rolls from your toilet paper or paper towels, boxes from tissue, anything that doesn't have too much print on it. I'm not a... I'm not a fan of putting ink in my compost. And every now and then I have to buy stuff from Whole Foods. So I have these paper bags. Put some more water. This one on the top. And uh, I will keep adding stuff as I go. So 
So back there you saw me covering my compost with the pool raft because it started raining on Christmas and it didn't stop until March. And uh, so I had to actually move the compost underneath my patio, but I used the water that accumulated in the bottom of the barrel uh, in a bucket and I used it for uh, watering my tomato plants which helped them a lot and then at Christmas time I mean I kept adding all kind of food scraps and at Christmas time I had so much stuff left over and it went bad so I I was storing it in the freezer finally I moved it to the compost and this is when my compost started attracting flies and this is where I had to add some uh, padding mix over my produce uh, so the flies kind of go away and they did of course and I, that actually speeded up the, the composting process. And today is a couple of months later after I first started this compost and I am going to show you what it looks like. It looks pretty awesome. Bring it closer. So I just want to let you know that on the top of the compost I had to dump a container of old padding soil because at some point all the veggies that I had in there and food scraps started attracting flies and tiny little flies but there was a lot of them so I had to uh, cover it up so I just poured a little bit of old padding mix over them uh, kind of took care of the flies, the flies but here I'll show you what it looks like today. Ha! Huh. Look at this, this is uh, avocado, oh and it started germinating, this is avocado pit and it started germinating but it's not gonna decompose, there this one it's already, it, it already has a little shoot on it, look at that, I eat a lot of avocados, that's crazy, look, this one is germinating too, that's crazy, there's another avocado pit, jeez, <laughs> another one, so this is what my uh, homemade compost now it look, looks like and all I put here was whatever I put in the beginning and then I was just adding uh, my uh, kitchen scraps to the mix and uh, so as you can see avocado pits they don't decompose at all and then the avocado skins I discovered that early on but the avocado skins uh, or avocado peels you see they get all crunchy but they don't decompose and uh, probably the ne next episode or the episode after I will show you how I'm gonna how I'm gonna turn these guys into fertilizer along with a few other things probably the next episode it's almost done I filmed it I just have to uh, I just have to edit it but yeah this is what it looks like the avocado gosh this is the compost guys look at that beauty that's just black gold as they call it let me see, let me dig deeper. You see at the, all the paper, everything has decomposed, but look at that, this is the label that it was in the avocado. It hasn't moved one bit because it's a glossy paper. Here, these are the eggshells. I had some eggshells earlier, so this is an eggshell. This is an eggshell. And because I don't have worms in my compost, they just nothing nothing happens that's why I have to do the other method with the eggshells but look at this absolute beauty now I'm gonna be using this to uh, fertilize my uh, tomato and pepper plants although my pepper plants are not doing very well but maybe this will help them because I know why they're not doing well because of the store-bought soil that I'm using and uh, it needs a little water but uh, this is what it looks like guys so yeah, even if you live in a HOA community, you can still make your own compost. No one complained. Well, as soon as I started having flies, I covered it with the padding mix and uh, now it's totally fine. Anyway, that's it for this video. All right, happy gardening, guys. My nails. Pretty. <laughs> Should have had gloves on. <laughs>